Can you tell me how old you are? Oh, I'm 34. I was born on February 9th, 1975. Who are you? I'm Mr. Nobody, a man who doesn't exist. We don't know who Mr. Nobody is. Neither does he. Our patient's memories are confused. So, Nemo, have you made up your mind? Do you want to come with me or do you want to stay with your father? We cannot go back. That's why it's hard to choose. Nemo! You have to make the right choice. As long as you don't choose, everything remains possible. I'm sorry, I, I don't understand. Did you stay with your father or go with your mother? Remember. Hello, Nemo. I want you. I want you too. Or as much as Anna and Nemo have consented together in holy wedlock. Or as much as Elise and Nemo have been married in holy wedlock. Or as much as Anna and Nemo have joined themselves to each other. Everything that you say is contradictory. Of all those lives, which one, which one is the right one? I guess I've already told you about my condition. Funny every time I see you. You don't remember where you've been or what you've just done. I can't make new memories. Everything just fades. What's the last thing you do remember? My wife. That's sweet. Dying. You really want to get this guy, don't you? My wife deserves vengeance. When you find this guy, what are you going to do? Kill him. Somebody's got to pay, Lenny. Somebody always pays. You have to be very careful. You wander around playing detective. Maybe you should start investigating yourself. This guy is so dangerous. He's going to kill me. Who is he? What do you want from me? I want my life back. I think someone's trying to get me to kill the wrong guy. You can question everything. You can never know anything for sure. There are things you know for sure. You can't trust him. Even if you get revenge, you're not going to remember it. You're not even going to know that it happened. Who did this to you? You did. You don't know who you are. you were so sure was real what if you were unable to wake from that dream how would you know the difference between the dream world and the real world what is happening to me the answer is out there neo it's the question that drives us what is the matrix the matrix is the world that has been pulled over your eyes to blind you from the truth what truth? They're watching you, Neo. Human beings are a disease. You are a cancer of this planet. And we are the cure. You're here to save the world. It seems that you've been living two lives. I've seen an agent punch through a concrete wall. Men have emptied entire clips of them and hit nothing but air. Everyone who has fought an agent has died. But where they have failed, you will succeed. So do you need guns? Lots of guns. No one has ever done anything like this. That's why it's going to work. Mr. Anders. What are you trying to tell me? That I can dodge bullets? No, Mia. I'm trying to tell you that when you're ready, 
you won't have to. You don't go to the movies, do you? I don't... I don't go out that much. Is there a reason why you're asking me this? You know, maybe you had a recommendation. <laughs> Anthony Clare, 3650 Rathburn Road. Uh, good afternoon. Hey. Um, no, I'm calling to speak Where to Dan. Where are you calling from? I'm, so, I'm sorry. I, th I think there's been a misunderstanding. Who is this? Okay, I'm gonna, I'll call back later. Who is on the phone? The same guy who called before. Same guy. Are you lying to me? Son, I am your only mother. He looks exactly like you. What's happening? I, I really don't know what you're talking about. I think you know. Why'd you come looking for me? I needed to know. I have some questions for you. Who are you? What's wrong? You're crazy. I'm crazy! Fuck 
magic number. 23. It rules my world. I'll be honest. I didn't get it. All I could think about was the number. 23 axioms to Euclid's geometry. The human body consists of 46 chromosomes, 23 for each parent. Blood takes 23 seconds to circulate. Shoot me. Come on. No, I can't shoot. Do it! <laughs> How'd you like that? Well, how do you do it? Magic. I'll perform this feat in a manner never before seen by yourselves or any other audience anywhere in the world. The audience loved it. This trick is top notch. We need to celebrate. <laughs> A real magician tries to invent something new. God. <laughs> it's something that other magicians will scratch their heads over. I suppose you have such a trick. Yes, you I do. It's the one they're gonna remember me for. What happened? It was the greatest magic trick I've ever seen. I need to know how he does it. He has no trick. It's real. Every great magic trick consists of three acts. The first act is called the pledge. The magician shows you something ordinary, but of course, it probably isn't. The second act is called the turn. He's obsessed with discovering your method. The magician makes this ordinary something do something extraordinary. Huh. Now you're looking for the secret, but you won't find it. That's why there's a third act called The Prestige. This is the part with the twists and turns, where lives hang in the balance. Julie, come on! And you see something shocking you've never seen before. This was built by a man who can actually do what magicians pretend to do. Real magic. I know what you really are! How does he do it? You want the truth. Nothing is impossible. I'll break it down, bro. No more secrets. Secrets are my life. It was as though this plan had been with him all his life, pondered through the seasons. Now, in his 15th year, crystallized with the pain of puberty. So, why'd you move here? My mom had to get a restraining order against my stepdad. He has emotional problems. Oh, I have those too. What kind of emotional problems does your dad have? I met a new friend. Real or imaginary? Your cup, Tony. Imaginary. I'm gonna tell you a little story today about a young man whose life was completely destroyed by these instruments of fear. I haven't seen stuff. Donnie is experiencing what is commonly called a daylight hallucination. <laughs>
I have to obey him. He saved my life. Have you ever seen a portal? Has he ever told you about his friend Frank, the giant bunny rabbit? The what? Every living thing follows a long set path. And if you could see your path or channel, then you could see into the future, right? I'm not going to be able to continue this conversation. Don't worry. You got away with it. What is going to happen? I only have a few days left before they catch me. Can stop. You should already know that. I want you to hit me as hard as you can. Why? How much can you know about yourself if you've never been in a fight? Wait, let me start earlier. Like many of you, I was stuck. You want me to deprioritize my current reports yeah. until you advise of a status upgrade? Make these your primary action items. I couldn't sleep. No, you can't die from insomnia. I'd flip through catalogs and wonder, what kind of dining set defines me as a person? This is your life, and it's ending one minute at a time. <laughs> I prayed for a different life. So, I make and I sell soap. And this is how I met Tyler Durden. Come on, hit me before I lose my nerve. Okay. Ow! You hit me in the ear! It was on the tip of everyone's tongue. Can I be next? We just gave it a name. Gentlemen, welcome to Fight Club. The first rule of Fight Club is... Wow, nice. You do not talk about Fight Club. Is that your blood? Some of it, yeah. After Fight Club, we all started seeing things differently. You're gonna have to keep me up all night. And she ruined everything. You're not into her, are you? No, God, not at all. We've all been raised on television to believe that one day we'd all be millionaires and movie gods and rock stars, but we won't. He had a plan. <laughs> to what purpose? In Tyler, we trusted. I gotta take Fight Club up a notch. Each one of you has a homework assignment. You're gonna start a fight with a total stranger. That's not necessary. And you're gonna lose. <laughs> that hurt. You were looking for a way to change your life. You got it. I'm stopping this. It's already done, so shut up. What kind of sick game are you playing? Oh my god. <laughs> Anyone. Who would you fight? Shatner. I'd fight William Shatner. How deep did you bury that shareholder, Paul? Are you sure this is a good idea? Just to pay us something, doesn't he? Well, you got more money than you could ever spend. So what do you think about nowadays? He owes me and he owes you. Now he has to pay. It's cause and effect.
Sorry, sir. This table is closed. Send them up. I'm not sure that's a good idea, Mr. D. He's got better. I mean, a lot better. All the tables are closed. Send them up, Paul. 